Hey guys, welcome to math. So in today's lesson, yes, we're doing the counting by tens, starting with any number again. But what's neat is that we're practicing it in all different kinds of ways. So what you're actually looking at is Mrs. Smith playing on ABC Yaw. So just like you do, I was looking for an interactive 120 chart so that I could match yours, which looks like this, that you should have printed. And um, I guess, uh, you know what, if you are not able to print, then you can complete this assignment using the 120 chart on ABC Yaw. So what I did was I went to ABC Yaw, um, actually before I even did that, I went up to Google and I said I wanted an interactive chart to 120 and it came up immediately with ABC Yaw. And the first chart it gave me was 1 to 100, but on the left hand side where you can see my mouse moving now, it says 1 to 120. So I clicked that and it changed to 120. So now it looks just like yours. And I have all these neat colors. So the other option, absolutely, and this is what we would have done in class, is we would use this paper and we would use these crayons. So um, you could also probably use markers too, but remember, markers don't erase, so keep that in mind. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is to remind yourself of the silly song that we sang. So I've done the one and the two. Um, let me go to the three. I'll sing this one. So it says, I can count by tens, O, G, O, G. I can count by tens, and I'll start with three. Three. Say it with me. Thirteen. 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93. What would come next? 103. Very good. Okay. Oh, and then because we're doing to 120, what would come next? 100 and, oh, we're going to have to find out. Okay. So um, as you've reminded yourself of those, I think it would be a good idea to either watch my video on those or sing it along to yourself just to kind of remind you. And then I also want to remind you of the number line that we worked on on Wednesday. So this number line where you were to identify each of those numbers but on a linear number segment or a number line segment, and um, you were to color in so you can see where Mrs. Smith did her example. Okay, so that was the second way that we practiced this. And now this third way what we're going to do is I'm going to use my papers that I cut up, which you probably remember that I did. And I'm going to highlight what I'm looking at. So first we're going to do starting with ones. So if you'd like to test yourself to see if you can do this before you watch me, then pause me now and then come back to me in a moment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a color and Mrs. Smith loves rainbow. So we're going straight rainbow. And what I want to do is I want to sing that silly song and use the pattern while highlighting. So here we have one, 11, 21, 31, 41. Sing along with me. 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101 and 111. So look at how interesting that is. We're counting by 10 starting with one, and it seems to be moving in a column. A column goes up and down, it's vertical. So that's how we count by 10s using the 120 chart. So um, in, in my next screencast, I'm gonna find something where it looks a little bit like this one, and then I want, I'm want i gonna show you how I want you to fill out this one, and I'm going to give you some um, some clues and ask you some questions, and then you'll fill out the rest of it. Now I know you could fill it out by just writing in one, two, three, four, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to challenge yourself by, by trying to practice counting by tens. So now I'm gonna change my color, and of course, orange, rainbow, and now I'm gonna count by twos. Two, 12, oh, I skipped one, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92, 102, 112. 
It's also really good practice, parents and kids, to practice reading numbers that are greater than 100 and using the terms 102, 112, and really beginning to practice those. So sometimes in the class, Mrs. Smith will say 102, 103, which is also a way of saying those, but using the term 100 is going to help us really cement place value. So in, in this case, I'm going to try to use that a lot. All right, where are we going now? We're going yellow. Three. 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 103, 113. Okay. So I'm making this into my own song. All right. I can count by tens with numbers galore. I can count by tens and I'll start with four. Ready? So I'm going to use a light green. Okay. Four. 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, 104, 114. Okay, so let's take just a small break to really notice. Did you notice that in the red column, there is a number that does not change? I'm highlighting it with my mouse right now. And in the orange column, there is a number that does not change. And in the yellow, and in the green, what number doesn't change? That's right. It's either the one, the two, the three, or the four, which is in the ones place. So those are those simple squares, just and when we're using um, the squares and the rods, those ten base 10 blocks, that would be the just the regular small cubes. Now, the other number is our 10. So that's actually a tens rod. And you'll notice that that's the one that jumps up because as we're counting, we're counting by tens. So each time it's like I'm adding a tens rod to this number in order to make a bigger number. I might have to make a video in the future to show that, but I don't have any tens rods with me right now. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's move to a dark green. I can count by tens like bees in a hive. I can count by tens and I'll start with five. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, and 115. Now, this is not counting by fives, even though we started with five. This is counting by tens, starting with five. So if I were really going to count by fives, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, but I'm not doing that, so remember. So I'm going to change those back to white, and let's keep on going. I'm having a good time. I hope you are, too. Remember, if I'm moving too fast, pause me. Light blue. I can count by tens without any tricks. I can count by tens, and I'll start with six. 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96, 106, 116. Okay, so we're, we're most of the way there. Let's keep going, guys. Dark blue. Seven. I can count by tens going up to heaven. I can count by tens, and I'll start with seven. All right. 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, 97, 107, 117. All right, now for everyone, I want you to pause your video just a moment, and I want you to, um, as you pause your video, I want you to try to fill in the rows of eight, saying each number, and then checking to make sure you set them correctly with me. So this is what we would have done in class as well. So I'm going to go to pink. Ready? Pause the video now. Try it on your own. Welcome back. All right, let's do eights. I can count by tens because in math I'm great. I can count by tens and I'll start with eight. Ready? Eight, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88. 98, 108, 118. All right, now you wanna get really tricky? I think you can tell what my pattern is. So this time, what I want you to do is I want you to pause your video and I want you to fill, it, fill in the, row, the column of nines from the bottom to the top. 
That means as you're coloring them in from the bottom, I want you to say the numbers from the bottom. And then come back to me in a few moments and do it with me. All right, ready? Pause me. All right, welcome back. Let's go to purple. 119, 109, 99, 89, 79, 69, 59, 49, 39, 29, 19, 9. Did you find that more difficult? I found it actually a little bit more difficult, maybe more like a tongue twister. So um, one of the things I tried to do was move a little slower. So if you get kind of tongue twisted like me, you just move a little bit slower. Now this last one is the hardest first grade. I don't think you really believe me, but that's okay because it's really not. Um, this is counted by 10 starting with 10. I can count by 10s to your gentle men. I can count by 10s and I'll start with 10. Ready? Everyone together, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, done. You did a great job. Okay, so um, your paper should be all filled in or you've used ABC Ya yeah, or you're doing both. I'm okay either way. And I hope you'd enjoyed this little video. I'm going to come back with a second screencast video to help us do this paper as soon as I find an interactive 120 chart that'll let me fill in some numbers. Okay, talk to you soon.